friends, my kitchen. It's been a while and I'm back to normal. Vacations are done. A lot of stuff, put it away and um, out of my bucket list. But anyway, so um, my son today asked me to do some uh, pretzels. I know I have a recipe already with pretzels in my YouTube, but this one is a specific with cinnamon. It's a cinnamon um, and sugar pretzels. And uh, well, so I thought I would make it, it's kind of a little bit different, not much than what I have, but um, I thought I would make a video and show you how I'm gonna make these pretzels. So anyway, let me show you what I have. So I'm only gonna do five cups, so it will fit in my uh, mixer, so I'm gonna do it. I have two cups of warm milk. I have six tablespoons of brown sugar, two tablespoons of kosher salt, two and a half teaspoons of yeast, four um, tablespoons of butter, and then four cup, uh, five cups of all-purpose flour. And then also have the cinnamon, more butter and sugar, and then also baking soda for us to um, put in a water bath before we bake the, the pretzels. So my, warm, my milk is warm, so I'm going to put it in here, and I'm going to put um, my yeast. I'm going to put the yeast first, and mix this a little bit, and then let it sit to just make sure that the yeast is good. I mean, this is new yeast, so it should have no problem. Um, so I'm going to let it sit here, and I'm going to melt this butter in the microwave. Like I said, I know I have a YouTube um, already with pretzels, a video with pretzels, but my son said, Mom, can you make some of those? And I made these before. Um, but I don't think I've made the video with and he wants it. So I thought, okay, I'll make a video to get myself on the groove and uh, um, and I'll show everybody how it's made. Um, so anyway, that's what I'm going to do. My butter is melted. Put it in. I'm going to put the sugar and the salt. And I'm going to blend all this. Okay, I'm going to add um, my flour a little bit at a time so I don't have a mess. And then I'll change it for the hook when it gets too hot. change it to the hook. Okay, my dough is done. It beat it for about five minutes. Um, I want to, for this particular for the pretzels, you want to stretch a little bit of that gluten so it becomes kind of chewy. That's what makes the pretzel, is by stretching that gluten. So now I uh, put some oil, olive oil in this bowl, and I'm going to transfer to that bowl all the dough. See, it's nice and clean. It's not sticky. And um, it's going to rise for a couple hours. Oh, until the bowl doubles in size. And then we'll, we'll shake it. I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to cover with a towel. And, uh, um, and we're going to make a nice, uh, some nice pretzels. Okay. It's all nice. Okay, friends, here's my dough. 
as rice. And now it's time for us to uh, start shaping the, um, the pretzels. I'm gonna cut it in half and then cut it in maybe six. Depending on how big you want them, or how small you want them. We'll see. So then, we want to start shaping our, our pretzels. This dough is perfect, is really smooth. And then we turn it into an E, twist it, and bring it up. Here you have it, a pretzel. And I'm going to put it here so we can tell, um, boil them. And we're going to boil them in, uh, uh, in water and baking soda. And baking soda is it does a reaction with the yeast, and it forms that chewy. That's what gives that chewy texture. You kind of want them the same. Um, the dough almost the same thickness, so um, they cook evenly. I'm going to keep doing this and then I'll come back. baking soda and that's what's going to create them to be chewy be very careful because this will start foaming that's normal comes up doesn't take very long you just want to give them a good soaking and take them out and sometimes they might kind of lose shape but don't worry because you can reshape them once you go bake them. out of the oven I have melted butter here um, it's just regular salted butter if you don't like the salt and then I have the sh sugar and cinnamon and what I do is just roll the sugar and here you have it the cinnamon pretzel so good there it just came. I have one more pan in the oven. I'm going to leave that one without the sugar because I don't want to have this for myself. I don't want the sugar. So, 
you know, sometimes we have a craving for something and we find that we, oh my gosh, I have to go get this, get that. Just make it yourself. It takes no time. Uh, it was easy to make. And it gives quite a bit. Share with your friends. And uh, well, you can put it, these in a freezer without the sugar. Let them cool. Put them in Ziploc bags. And then as you need it, take them out. So, anyway. I'm going to plate them so I can show you. Okay, friends. Here it is. My pretzels. My cinnamon sugar pretzels and I cannot resist not try one. Look how it is inside. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. You got to try this. What I'd suggest is make them, let them cool, Put them in a Ziploc bag, keep them in the freezer as you need it. Warm it up one in a microwave, put some butter, put some sugar, that way you have it always fresh. I'm gonna have a happy son today. He's been asking me for this. So, he's gonna enjoy this. Mm. Can't have too much of this because of the sugar. But you can make it without it, without putting the top, and just put the butter. It just tastes fine just to me, the same way. So give it a try. This recipe, like I said, I have one on YouTube already. This is a little bit different. And this one is with the uh, cinnamon and sugar. And uh, this was one of my son's, my youngest son's uh, request. And what is a mom not to give our sons, no matter how old they are? Doesn't matter if it's a baby or if it's a grown man. If they want a craving, mama's here. So anyway, give it a try. Give me some feedback. I will have the recipe in English and Portuguese, so you know how to make it. And uh, well, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, sign up where the bell is so you get notified when I have um, new videos come up, which I'm gonna start being more on top of it now that vacations and everything else is kind of away um, done I'm gonna try to do as many videos as I can um, so there'll be some surprise videos so keep checking my videos and uh, well until next time let's get cooking have a good day